So our famous sneaker brand Drip is said to be closing down for liquidation. Uh, it is said that it, it owes about 20 million rands in debts and the owner cannot pay the debtors. That is so sad to watch because Drip is a South African brand which was opened and that created a lot of business opportunities for other people, a lot of work opportunity for other people. People were employed because of Drip. And it is sad to see that being closed. You know that the ripple effect of that is that people are going to be sitting at home without jobs. They're not going to be able to fend for their families. That is sad. And then on the other side, you have this um, ex-wife that says that actually there's more money in drip. It, it shouldn't be closing down because there's money. This is a ploy so that when the divorce is finalized... I get nothing. So the story is that um, the two couple, the husband and the wife, the owner of Drip and the wife started the business while he was unemployed and the wife was working somewhere in a good job and she financed the whole thing and then helped him and helped him in the business, in the running of the business, delivering of the the, the merchandise and everything else and they used um, their wife's car when they were starting out that's what she said in an interview and now things didn't go so well because he got new friends and um, he started changing on the wife according to the wife he started changing and he started attending parties and stuff like that and he started involving her in some strange rituals that she did not know about in the past because she is a God-fearing woman and she um, is saved and all the things. But now they were getting, they were trying to get a divorce, and the wife has been trying to divorce the guy, and the guy was not making things easy for the wife, and the divorce is still not finalized. So the wife is basically saying that that company is now nowhere near bankrupt but because she is entitled to 50 percent of the company that's why the guy is dissolving the company he wants the wife to get nothing out of the company and that is what is going to happen i'm thinking if that is true the guy is going to go go somewhere else and he's going to start a new company he's going to name it something different and maybe he's going to do something different and uh, if if the, if there is actually money in the company, and the, the wife said he started moving assets from the company, I don't know when, but he started when the, the when she initiated the divorce. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think someone would actually do that? Would actually want to bring his own company to the ground so that he doesn't have to share with the person that they started the company with? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that would favor him? Or do you think that it's actually possible? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to like this video. Please share. Please comment. Please, please, please like the video. And also don't forget to subscribe. Because I see a lot of people are watching my videos. But are they not subscribed? Why are you not subscribed? Tell me why. Give me a reason why you're not subscribed. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now business that I started. When this business started, he was staying in my mom's house. When this business started, his mom was staying in my house that I'm, that I'm using my business property. I moved his mom from a shack. There's now a shack that apparently uh, our sneaker started from. When, when, when the sneaker started, his mom was staying in my house. I had moved his mom into my house. You know, my brothers were there, my brothers and their friends, they were the ones who were packaging, uh, um, you know, the boxes. Yeah. Doing, when you make an order, I would come home, take orders, and there would be a list. We call it e-commerce, you know. Yeah. Our brothers would have to say, okay, you want a size 5, a yellow one, we put in size 5, and then he goes and deliver. So now it seems like I'm a gold digger. This business started when I was not there. I'm coming for things that I don't even, I'm running away from divorce, which is not the truth. The, the actual truth is he's delaying this entire process. The actual truth is he's not even paying a cent towards maintenance. The actual truth is I've started this business.